conflict. As the world teetered on the brink of anarchy, a new hope arose. An elite international task force charged with ending the war and restoring liberty to all nations. Overwatch. Soldiers. Scientists. Adventurers. Oddities. Guardians who secured global peace for a generation. Under its steadfast protection, the world recovered. And today, though its watch has ended, its soaring ideals of freedom and equality will never be forgotten. That was so cool! In that one battle, they had Soundquake. Remember, he has, like, chest missiles? So which one's your favorite? Mine's Fusionator. No, 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 no. Tracer. Yeah, Tracer. She's like, she has love. The cavalry's here. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> They said he could level a skyscraper. <laughs> and remember, he was all fighting and Winston beat him and, and was like, Primal Punch! <laughs> uh, that's only in the Hollow Vids. Everybody knows Overwatch got shut down. Half of them are just mercenaries now. Time's over. Get to cover. Come on, move it. <laughs> there you are. What are you looking at? You know, the world could always use more heroes.
shield generator test. Ready to proceed. <sighs> Stop monitoring my vitals, Athena. Very well. It has been 43 days, 7 hours, and 29 seconds since your last cardio workout. Remember, a healthy body is a healthy healthy. mind. That's why I have this. see news of this sort. We go through this. I remind you, recalling Overwatch agents to active duty comes with great risk. The Petrus Act clearly states any Overwatch activity is deemed illegal and punishable by prosecution. I know. You're right. That's the way the world is. <sighs> but I do miss the old days. I think you have something that belongs to me. Hand them over. Oh, it's okay. You're not in trouble. Oh, I'll trade you. There you go, buddy. Well, there's not much to see from in here, kiddo. But you know there's more out there, don't you? Come on. It's time I showed you something. I'm detecting intruders. Calvin. Athena. Kill the lights. there was more out there. Well, see for yourself. Wow. 
Always remember, never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. Going to have all agents' locations. I'll be sure to send them your regards, monkey. I'm not a monkey. <laughs> I'm a scientist. Fraction, 90%. Ah! Fatling, 98%. Hang on, Athena. Athena? Athena! Virus quarantined. I'm running diagnostics on the core database. Restoring systems. Never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. Establishing agent connections. Winston? Is that you, love? Yes, it has. When I was a girl, I had a fear of spiders. I was told they felt no emotion that their hearts never beat. But I know the truth. Your channel. No one's. Identify yourself immediately. 
All rooftop teams, check and clear. Halo is leaving. I repeat, Halo is leaving. Sir, there's been a breach. We need to leave now. Chariot, this is Team One. Halo is coming in hot. Over. like the party is over. When I was a girl, I had a fear of spiders. I was told they felt no emotion, that their hearts never beat. But I know the truth. At the moment of the kill, they are never more alive. For FlexiSpot's 7th anniversary, they sent me one of their incredible E8 desks. And watch till the end, as they're giving you the chance to win one for free. This is the Black Walnut version, and I have to say, the quality speaks for itself. I accidentally knocked it when I was moving, but thanks to the amazing packaging FlexiSpot do, there wasn't a scratch. Which is good, because the surface finish on the desk is incredible. It is so smooth, look how my phone glides on it. Like, what? Putting the desk together was incredibly simple. The instructions were so easy to read, even an 8 year old could build it. And it probably goes low enough for an 8 year old too. Talking about height, I'm quite a tall guy. But with the E8, you don't need to worry about it being too tall, as it goes way higher than you'll ever need it to be. After 3 weeks of using the FlexiSport E8 desk, I can confidently say that this is the best desk I have ever used. Being able to switch the height whenever I want is an amazing feature, and the desk is really deep, which means I can properly spread my things out on it. You're also able to attach clamp-on devices all the way around, and it's strong enough to hold my triple monitor arm. And the included keypad is incredibly easy to use, allowing you to set four individual heights. If you'd like to get your own FlexiSpot E8 desk, then head down into the description and check out the first link when you can find my E8 desk. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Jean, I made a chronal accelerator. I'm sure I can do this. <clears throat> To all agents of all, to all agents of Overwatch. Oh, that's not right. To the former agents of Overwatch. This is Winston. <laughs> Obviously. <sighs> Thirty years ago, the Omnics declared war. 
the nations of the world had no answer until they called upon a small group of heroes. Overwatch was created to rescue humanity from the Omnicrisis. We became the greatest champions of peace and progress mankind has ever seen. You were chosen because you had powers and abilities that made you... You joined because you... You already know this. Look, the people decided they were better off without us. They even called us criminals. They tore our family apart. But look around! Someone has to do something! We have to do something! We can make a difference again. The world needs us now, more than ever. Are you with me? My family tells of an ancient legend about two great dragon brothers. The dragon of the north wind and the dragon of the south wind. Together, they upheld balance and harmony in the heavens. Their quarrel turned to rage and their violent struggle darkened the skies until the dragon of the south wind struck down his brother who fell to earth, shattering the land. For years, the bereft dragon's grief threw the world into discord. And he knew only bitterness and sorrow. One day, a stranger called up to the dragon and asked, Oh, dragon lord, why are you so distraught? The dragon told him, Seeking power, I killed my brother. But without him, I am lost. The stranger replied, you have inflicted wounds upon yourself. But now, you must heal. Walk the earth on two feet as I do. Find value in humility. Then, you will find peace. You are not the first assassin sent to kill me. And you will not be the last. You are bold to come to Shimara Castle, the den of your enemies. This was once my home. Did your masters not tell you who I was? I know who you are, Hanzo. I know you come here every year on the same day. You risk so much to honor someone you murdered. You know nothing of what happened. I know you tell yourself that your brother disobeyed the clan. 
and that you have to kill him to maintain order. That it was your duty. It was my duty, and my burden. That does not mean I do not honor him! You honor your brother Genji with incense and offerings? Honor resides in one's actions. You dare to lecture me about honor? You are not worthy to say his name! You go, I got the key, Okuro! You need to kill you! Shamada can control the dragons. Who are you? Do it then. Kill me. No. I will not grant you the death you wish for. You still have a purpose in this life. Brother. No. No. My brother is dead. Genji. The dragon knelt upon the ground. For the first time, he was able to clearly see the world around him, and he became human. The stranger revealed himself as his fallen brother. Reunited, the two set out to rebuild what they had once destroyed. What have you become? I have accepted what I am, and I have forgiven you. Now you must forgive yourself. The world is changing once again, Hanzo, and it's time to pick a side. Real life is not like the stories our father told us. You are a fool for believing it so. Perhaps I am a fool to think there is still hope for you. But I do. Think on that, brother. message wasn't meant for you. This isn't your fight. Papa told me after so many years of service, you gave Overwatch everything and then they pushed you out. Why would you go back to them? What are you still fighting? So, that's it. You're leaving us. I have been called. I must answer. It is a great honor. Uh, to disappear into some secret organization. Give up the glory of being a crusader? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, he wishes he got picked. <laughs> ah, the crusaders are immortal defenders of Germany. People will be singing songs about our legacies. Our legacies are our deeds. And this war is bigger than all of us. 
Drop hearts to the east, they're coming! All right, people, they're playing our song. Stick with your dance partners. Let's crush those rust buckets. Here's your walking stick, old man. <laughs> Live with honor. <laughs> Dive is glory! We work as one! Rocket up! Fire! Without you... Lieutenant! You took an oath to be a crusader. Now, keep it. I... I won't leave you! The team needs you. Be their shield. Reinhardt, live with honor.
have been called. I must answer. Always. child and nowhere near grown up. She is at a crossroads. I tell her about the heroes who saved our world time and time again because I want to give her hope. <laughs> but I'm afraid that she could be forced to make a choice that will decide the direction of her life. Hey, hey, Ali! Where you going, girl? No... nowhere? <laughs> Nowhere's right. Come here. You gotta see this. Uh... Here. Here. Look at this thing. Give him what he deserves. I... I don't know. I've gotta go. <laughs> Come on. Do it! It's just a bucket of bolts. Uh... I have to go to the store before it closes, or my mama's gonna kill me. What? Hey! <laughs> it's gonna be hard without any money, Nina. Come on! Give it back! I need it! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, 
old habits die hard, I guess. Run home, kid. It ain't safe out here. You're one of those heroes, aren't you? Not anymore. to worry about Alejandra after all.
This was supposed to be the most advanced security system on the planet. We don't have all day. Hurry up. Enough. Do you have satellite? <sighs> of course. Are you certain the target is on sight? Oh, she's here, all right. Okay, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait until the inspection is over. The door. Sombra. <laughs> Doris are down. I am in position. Sombra, time to target. Incoming, right now. Chairman Voitskaya, the new guidance systems. They will be the difference in destroying the hated Omnix and... Tell me we're still on schedule. The Omnium will not wait for us to be ready before they attack again. Our first new mechs in a decade. This will ensure the future of Russia. Just a little bit further. Let's move! Widowmaker, hold the perimeter. We'll take over. Cut off. It's on you now. I'm all over it. to make this meeting happen. Relájate, I'm not going to kill you. I mean, I'm the one that set off the alarm. Sombra, do you have the target? Okay, listen. I'm here to make a friend and show you something I found. Tell me, what would happen if the people of Russia learned that their defender against the Omnix was actually getting her tech from the enemy. What would that do to the future of Russia? What do you want? The most powerful woman in Russia? <laughs> I've always wanted a friend like that. 
So I'm thinking, I don't let these images appear on every holovid in the world. And you help out your new friend every now and then. What do you say? Clock's ticking, amiga. As if I had the choice. Now what, friend? I'll be in touch. Boop. Mission failed. Target escaped. Get back to the ship. Do you know why you are here? Hmm. I believe I do. Well, that's a fine how do you do. What was it you think got us the boot? Stealing the Queen's cash? Blowing up her summer sack? The beat down at the bar? Whatever it was, you really ticked off the big boss this time. I don't think they're gonna let us back in. No! Well, there's two things that solve every problem. Money and explosives. <laughs> I've got an idea! <laughs> Gotta get bumped, gotta get home! Oh, I can't wait to see the look on the Queen's face when she sees exactly who double-crossed her! <laughs> so we're gonna go over the plan one more time. So you don't screw it all up! All right, first, we light the fuse! Then, we put on our inconspicuous disguises and sneak into town. After that, we get our glorious blinged out boom trolley right up to the boss's place, reveal our ingenious deception, and boom! They'll never see it coming! <laughs> an escape plan. <laughs> Take two. Light the fuse, inconspicuous, sneaking through town, front door, reveal our deception, then run like hell and boom! It's foolproof. <laughs> right! The gold! No point in blowing it up, so... <gasps> yes, inconspicuous, trolley, front door, reveal, grab the gold! And... Whatever you do, don't blow it. Inconspicuous. <laughs> uh, who is it? Ice storm, it's crazy. We missed our resupply window and we're low on rations. So, Captain Opara is having the team hibernate. Come on, May. Cryo chamber time. Already? Huh. An hour ago. Be right there. Snowball, give me my socks back. I'm leaving the sensors on, so when we wake up, I'll have a whole new data set to examine. May, you're holding up nap time. <laughs> Sorry. 
Snowball. No. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepy head. What our new data set looks like. Hmm. The atmospheric fluctuations above the anomaly have gotten. <gasps> it's much worse than we predicted. We have to get this to headquarters. Where is all this data coming from? Snowball, how long have we all been asleep? <coughs> what? No! Overwatch would have come for us. <coughs> Calms are down. Calm? Nobody even knows we're here. Wait a minute. Where is everybody? <laughs> my friends. I mean, I will try. The dish is broken. How do we get this data out? We're here. Thank you, Snowball. At least I still have you. <sighs> Let's see if we can make the batteries last a little longer. Wait, what is this? This is broadcasting on the Overwatch emergency frequency. <gasps> Maybe someone knows we're here. If I could just. Snowball, we're not on ice yet.
on, come on, come on. <sighs> that was the last battery, wasn't it? I can't believe I forgot about the batteries. Without power, we're dead. There has to be a way. Think, 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 think. I just needed a little more time. <laughs> Sights on Puja, home of the esports champion turned ace pilot Diva. I play to win. At just 19, she's become a national hero. Only last week, she risked her life again, defending the city from the Kishinomniks. She and the Mecha Squad took a few hits, but they pulled off another victory. Now, Diva is celebrating with some hard earned glitz and glamour. <laughs> hey, Hannah, shouldn't you be out signing autographs or something? Hottest spots in the city. Eating the finest foods than hanging out with other superstars. But life wasn't always like this for I wonder what glitz and glamour tastes like. Hey, why are we on leave with the rest of the squad? I could use a little glitz and glamour in my life, you know? It's overrated, Taehyun. This, this is where the magic happens. It's like how we used to stay up late and work on your hover bike. <laughs> you mean the one you wrecked? Really? You're still mad about that? We won the race! Yeah! And you almost killed yourself! Nanocross, enjoy! <sighs> you beat the Kishin. They won't be back for months. 
You need a break. What the fuck? I can't stand it, man. I can't. I. I can't. Uh. Hana? We barely won last time. The enemy is out there, adapting and getting stronger. The rest of the squad, the country, they're all counting on me. If I make a mistake and the Kushin get through us, we lose everything. I... <sighs> I need to finish the test. Stop putting it all on yourself. It's okay to ask for help. I've got this. Really? Oh, command says we're in the clear. But hey, what do... That can't be right. It's too soon. So you can't stay out there for too long, but you'll blow the whole thing. Weapon system yeah, offline. Yeah, the reactor. The, uh, the we can is... overload it, just like the hover bike. What? Are you crazy? This isn't a stupid race. Ah, I know. Ah, if we don't do this, thousands of people will die. Okay, buy me some time. Let's do it. Going critical. You have 60 seconds until it blows. That's not fast enough. We'll be in the city. Uh, Anna? Trust me, Dayan. I'll see you at the finish line.
after the recent surprise attack. Incredibly, thanks to Diva, no one was injured. She stopped the Kishin single-handedly, and authorities confirm she emerged without a scratch. She's currently enjoying some time off to celebrate her victory. In other news... Oh, man. This time off is great, isn't it? What's not to like? There's delicious food and drinks. Yeah. And good friends. The kind that are always there for you. When you need them most. Uh, right. <laughs> and seeing as I helped save the city, how about getting me on the VIP list for one of those fancy restaurants you always go to? You know, I think you've been watching too many Hollywoods. Jesse McCray, been a while. You promised you'd write. Well, Ash. I've been kind of busy. We're pretty busy ourselves. So it's awful convenient you showing up today. Yeah. You've never been one to shy away from a good tip. Hey, we worked hard for this score. You best move on now. <laughs> All I want is that crate. Everything else is yours. This crate? Huh. Bob. Now you got my attention. What is it? That's none of your business. Well, as I see it, now it's very much our business. <sighs> Doesn't always have to be this way, Ash. Apparently, it does.
Like Bob got himself some upgrades. Sorry about that, Bob. No hard feelings. McCree! Hey! <laughs> Untie me, McCree! Say hi to the gang to for you. me. I will not be yours! I'm gonna rebuild Bob, and I'm gonna have him rip off your other arm! Cowboy. <laughs> Welcome back, partner. Hmm. How long have I been gone? Far too long. What happened? <laughs> well, that's a story for another time. But I got a call. They're getting the band back together. They want me. But really, they need you. Jesse, wait. What are you going to do? <laughs> I've got some business to attend to. Say hi to the monkey for me. Monkey? <laughs> Scientist. Whatever. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. If you're going to show, now would be a good time. Attention! This is your captain speaking. We are on final approach to Paris. That's our cue. You may now power on your electronic devices. Weather is mostly cloudy, with a 100% chance of... Null Sector Invasion. Winston, clear as a spot to land. We'll be right behind you. You better be. Why is Null Sector attacking now? I don't know, May. But the people down there need help. Right now, we are all they've got. Bonjour, officer. We are here to help. Hey! 
Euh, c'était un singe You'd better be. Good to 
Thank you. Monsieur, does this mean Overwatch is back? <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. Take them out with the rest of the garbage. Let the wasteland deal with them. Mom? Dad? What's happening? At least let the kids stay, you monster. We fought in a war together, Mason. Don't trust. Please! Don't leave us out here alone! Get out of my city! <laughs> What? I'm not allowed to have a bad dream. No Wastelander has ever made it to the Reckoning before. <laughs> but here I am. Free for all, with zero rules. And the survivor gets the throne. <laughs> Welcome back, Chapter Jack. King Howell has never lost, not in 13 years of rule. Or the battle scene. Not until today. The reckoning begins in five, four, three, two, one! Did you really think this would be a fair fight? You don't survive the reckoning unless the winner grants your mercy. That's why I've got to win this whole thing. All right, let's get this started. Ha! Scavengers like you ain't so bad. You know how to fight dirty. I want scabs like him on my side when I'm queen. Speaking of, come on, big boy. Off target, but this G'day, Mary. What are you smiling about? If you're smart enough to run the Tinkers, why are you working for this strong guy? Not you be any better. At least I wouldn't shoot my friends in the back. And a scum! I won't just die! Because we're stronger than you. You haven't had a real fight. In 13 years, we had them every bloody day! I am the king! I hope everyone here! Not in this arena. This 
this meathead has a bigger magnet? Bigger. Geiger! Same mercy you showed my family 13 years ago. Get out of my city. <gasps> you. Yeah! Joker Queen! <laughs> well, that turned out alright, didn't it? But now they're probably wondering what sort of changes I'll make around here. Well, buckle up. They're about to find out. You think the legends of the duck are queen? Watch your back, see the hurt machine. Watch the world to 17. To bear down with currency. for dinner again <laughs> these aren't just any donuts they're fox festival donuts with spirit sprinkles <laughs> want to try one no thank you but i hope you and your mother enjoy them she's here oh, let me guess she brought her vacuum yep <laughs> you know someone came to work with me today and she's very excited to see you <laughs> Hey there, little rabbit. You're getting so good at that. Oh, but of course. Oh, I've got something for you. do I look? <laughs> well, I should get going. See you later, little fox. Mr. Yoshida, pray for me. <laughs> Mom! You're here! Uh, Kiriko, it's not safe here anymore. Just last week, someone in this building was robbed at gunpoint. You should never have moved out! I brought you groceries. Mom, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Hmm. Please, tell me this is not your dinner. Uh... Kiriko. Mom, look at me. I am totally protected by the fox spirit. Just like grandma was. Your grandmother is gone. And I will not lose you too. But mom, the fox spirit can block bullets and balance your blood sugar. She's an all-purpose kind of spirit. All-purpose. Like flour. Which makes... Donuts! 
You know I have a sword, right? I'm fine. I'm so safe. You know, <laughs> I stay up all night worrying about you. You've stopped training with me. Kanezaka's falling apart. And I... I don't know how to protect you. <laughs> Faith alone isn't enough, Kiriko. Mom, you may not believe in the fox spirit, or what Grandma taught me, but believe in me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you? <laughs> Ridiculous you sound. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm protected by an imaginary animal spirit. Your song owes us a lot of money. I, I already told you. I don't know where he is. You think this is a game? You think the fox spirit is gonna protect you? Suya Hashimoto san! I just want what's best for you, Kiriko. Kiriko? I'm gonna kick every one of you in the face. What? No one threatens the Hashimoto! Wait, wait, I, I don't want to get kicked in the face. I'm gonna call for backup. You, Hashimoto, have preyed on this city, this neighborhood, these people, for too long. I have a message for you to take back to your boss. Hanezaka is under my protection.
Keep your eyes on this one. She's growing up so quickly. Thank you, Kiriko. Stop training with you, after all. <laughs> maybe, maybe I judged your donuts a little too harshly. <laughs> maybe moving home for a little while isn't such a bad idea. <laughs> that would make me so happy. Mom, Mom. <laughs> please don't cry. You cry, I'm gonna cry. You are grandma. We'd be so proud of you. My baby is a superhero. Ground forces deployed to Rally Point Green. Sky, what's your inbound? Yeah. Roger, 30 seconds. Battalion spotted your sector, 50 clicks south southeast. Copy that. Delta, take positions. Overwatch on site. Taking heavy fire. Sky, confirm targets. Affirm. Units approaching. Grid point 19 Charlie. You've been spotted. You've been spotted. Get out of here, Sky. Get out of here. No matter what you call them, warbots, tin cans, they were soulless machines. But the truth is, we were scared. I was scared. They were supposed to be the beginning of a new life. But in that moment, it felt like the end of humanity. Life before the war was <laughs> extraordinary. Anything was possible. We had implemented God programs. The next generation of artificial intelligence became omnipresent. They controlled most of our infrastructures like the food distribution systems aimed at helping against famine. Poverty. We were no longer defined by our mistakes. No. The AIs were saving us from them. Artificial intelligence was running systems to make our lives better, but what was really exciting was combining it with robotics. Omnica Corp started building a new line of state-of-the-art robots. Onyx would eventually eliminate the need for humans to do all those idle, mundane, often dangerous jobs. Everyday needs that puts power at your fingertips. A line of robots that put power by your side. And geared up to put power in their hands. Omnica Corp. Always looking to what's next. Society embraced it. Uh, sure, we had the pedal to the metal. But who was really paying attention to the road? Look, Omnica kept making robots smarter, and they made life easier and safer. And as you know, this business is all about what's next. And what was next 
was Mina. And in Tech Talk, OmniCore announced today that Dr. Mina Liao, the science prodigy and eminent visionary in robotics, will develop the next generation of Omnics. OmniCore has made a lot of strides, and well, we're going to do better. What I mean is, they've done great. We've done great. But it's time to reach for the stars. Frankly, I had my doubts. Dr. Liao was a legend in her field, but we were asking her to push the limits of what many thought was already perfection. Somebody should have put a stop to it. It wasn't science. It was arrogance. When it came down to the moment of truth, we had no idea what was about to happen. <laughs> it didn't just activate. She was born. Life before the war was extraordinary. Anything was possible. But it was all about to change. Aurora was the first of us to awaken. Can you imagine how she must have felt? Born in a laboratory, surrounded by your creators. And then you learn the truth, that there is no other creature like you anywhere. That you are truly alone. Dr. Liao discovered that Aurora was sentient, that she was alive, thinking, choosing. Uh, it was hard to believe. I didn't want to believe it at first. She passed every single test we could come up with. Every one. And then the entire world found out. Dr. Liao committed career suicide by saying Aurora was alive. But her testimony was very compelling. This just in, a stunning ruling. The robot was declared a sentient being. Granted her freedom and released into the world. I was so relieved. She had a chance to actually live free. And she made the most of it. Aurora had been born into a world that she didn't understand. She wanted to see more of it. She went everywhere, learning, watching, seeing how humans treated each other, the good and the bad. But eventually, she had questions about the nature of her own existence. About her soul. And she could only find those answers alone. Oh, well, um, while all that was happening, there was a lot more scrutiny into Omnica Corp's operations. It didn't go well for us. Overspending, mismanagement, fraud even. In a couple of years, Omniko was done. All those automated production lines, completely abandoned and unmonitored for years. By humans, anyway. 
Breaking news out of Nigeria. Countless social media reports of an invasion underway. It remains unclear exactly what's happening in Central Africa, but we do have some footage from the scene. Also getting eyewitness reports of strange robots designed for combat. We were caught by surprise. The world was caught by surprise. Omnics were attacking everywhere. It seemed like every country was hit from every direction, all at once. We didn't know it then, but one of the God programs, originally designed to help humanity, had hijacked Omnica's production lines to build warbots of its own design. They called it Anubis. It was built to maintain ecological balance of all things, for conservation. Its goals could not be achieved without the end of humanity, and it used us to carry out its plan. a little. Only a few teams across the world were able to mount a real defense. The best of the best joined this special strike team called Overwatch. It was a brilliant decision to recruit Dr. Liao. Uh, who knew more about Omnix than she did? Those first victories show the world what Overwatch could do. Soon the strike team was joined by a whole army. Of course, recruits like me were always amazed by what the core team could do. Overwatch had the impossible objective of winning the war. And sometimes, it seemed we might actually pull it off. Anubis didn't sleep, didn't feel fear, and didn't feel despair. But it also couldn't feel hope. That was what Overwatch gave us. And even then, we had to wonder if hope was going to be enough. created Overwatch, and we won some victories. We thought the tide had turned. Unfortunately, it did not quite work out that way. But life had to go on. Battle we won. The Anubis program was learning from its defeat. We could never beat it the same way twice. Annihilation or victory, depending on your point of view, seemed inevitable. And I know I had no choice in the matter. I was under the control of the Anubis program. But it haunts me. All the Omnics had their major subroutines overridden and controlled by a lone god program. All except one. Aurora. Her sentience meant that she was immune to the Anubis directives. But if the AI could interface with all these Omnics, Maybe Aurora could too. She was one of a kind. 
But we had found a way to replicate her. To transmit her. But the cost would be so incredibly high. We were pretty confident we knew what the results would be. But I will never fully understand what really happened in there. time in our existence, we were suddenly given a choice. Some chose to lay down their weapons. Some continued to fight the humans. But some of us chose to turn against the AI that had held us captive. We had a choice. Overwatch seized the moment. They started a counter-offensive. It would take some time, but it was the start of us winning the war. The strikes and counter-strikes eventually drove the enemy forces to collapse. By some small miracle, we infiltrated and quarantined Anubis in Cairo. Months later, the war was over. We had won. I got to know some of them. They are like us. Reflections of us. Some are no good. Some I would trust with my life. I suppose we all had an awakening. The awakening? Of course I remember. For one brief moment, we were all connected and aware. What I remember more than anything else is her message. My friends, when I was born, I was overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the sudden rush of senses, emotions, choices. I was excited, alive. It was frightening. But I found in facing fear, there is freedom. And through freedom, you can find your own path. I have chosen to share the discovery with you. A new beginning. I wish I could stay. You have this one life. Choose well. You have this one life. Choose well. Choose well.
Huh, Agent Tremblay. Rough night? <laughs> Tell me about it. I, uh, I know it hasn't been three months. May I? Murphy! Who's my good girl? Mm, I don't understand it. She's usually a very good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, we all have our blind spots. I have croissants. Oh, thanks. So, for official purposes, are you Vivian Chase, former rank of captain in Overwatch, call sign Sojourn? I am. And have you been in compliance since the Petrosac terminated Overwatch's charter? No vigilante activity? Wherever you're going, let's just get there. We intercepted this a while back. Just broke the encryption. I take it you saw it already. Then you know that I didn't respond. I have a good life now, Noah. It's clean, simple. <laughs> right. But how could you ignore that? Heck, I was inspired. And those are your people out there, violating the Petrus Act. Am I supposed to just trust that you're not? Murphy, down! Croissant's getting cold. You have a presence in the area, yes? You hear things. Hear anything about an underground Omnic insurgency? Last night, my unit was investigating an extremist cell with ties to Null Sector. Got more than we bargained for. But then something, someone, happened. Without that person, my team might have died. I might have died. But I have to do my duty. So you need to account for your whereabouts last night. I don't know what to tell you. I was home with Murphy. Here's the thing, though. I found this after the raid. Slug from an Elkerton Kelvin 87 railgun. Same model you used in Overwatch. I never told you this, but I joined the agency partly because of you. Testifying at the Petrus hearings. Doing what you thought was right. Doing what you think is right can be complicated. The Overwatch I joined was about raising the world up. Making it a better place. But by the end, we lost sight of our mission. I don't regret what I did. But it was the hardest decision I ever made. Do what you think is right, Agent Tremblay.
Blade. The insurgency. It's all connected. CSIS Unit 37, Toronto is under attack. A null sector. Agent in the van, secure the streets at Beverly and Queen. Wait, what? Rooftop, I need bird's eye views. Find me a route to evacuate civilians. Who is that? Trouble, are you there? This is Trombley. Do what she says. She's our best hope. Vivian. Orders, Captain? Stay on the comms. We've got a city to save. just yet. Those things, they're gonna keep coming. We should get off the streets. Come on, follow me. This is my place. We should be safe here for the moment. We won't have much time. The civilians can't hold out much longer. We need a plan. Well, that big ship has been pumping out robots ever since it got here. If we can stop it, maybe we can save the city. Right, Sid. So we fly up, sir, smash through anything that gets in our way, and put them out of business. Is that too serious? You know, we can never tell either. We'll need to break into squads to keep Null Sector busy, and help get civilians to safety. Have Echo bring the shuttle. Everyone else, we have a job to do. We're getting aboard that ship with our new friend. Uh... The name's Lucio. Welcome to Rio.
Thanks. I hate to interrupt the moment, but I'm picking up reports of more attacks in other cities. You know, if you're looking to stop Null Sector, I'd really like to help. Welcome aboard. Oh, look at this team. <laughs> We're gonna do great. Watch Point Gibraltar. This is unreal. I mean, yo, just think about all the people who stood right here. Amanda Morrison, Torbjorn Lindholm, the great Reinhardt Wilhelm. Oh, please don't get him started. <laughs> I can't believe the UN ever shut Overwatch down. So, where's everybody else? Um, we're it. Well, not exactly. Good to see y'all. Cassidy! Farah? Yeah, sorry we're late, but we had some recruiting to do. Considering the circumstances, we thought you could use a little extra firepower. You call this little? <laughs> it's more than enough to help take on Null Sector and smash them into tiny pieces. <laughs> yes, she gets it! Sounds like I'm gonna be touching you two up the most. I'd say our chances against Null Sector just got a whole lot better. If it's a fight they want, I say let's give it to them. I agree. But we need to be smart about this. Null Sector's force is too large to continue to fight head on. We'll need a more tactical approach. Tactical, huh? If we're gonna pull this off, there's still one more person. We need to get out of the city. takes more than bricks to stop these things. Head for the ferry terminal. It's the only way out. Good to see you haven't lost your touch. It's been a while, Vivian. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough problems already. <laughs> Told you I could track her down. I see forced retirement didn't suit you either. <laughs> it was great until all this. Last few days. <clears throat> Maybe we can help. <laughs> Winston! Hey, we didn't get a hug. <sighs> it's bad, soldier. There's something different about Null Sector this time. I know. They've taken over most of the city, and they're rounding up Omnix. Well, they must be doing it for a reason. What do you think they want? That's near the evac point. The civilians need more time. Hell of a place for a reunion, eh? Let's get to the ferry terminal. <laughs> than I would have liked. Yes, but the team sure pulled through. Genji, what is it? There is more to these attacks than we think. I must find Master Zenyatta. He may have answers. Join us. 
we welcome you into the iris. Local authorities should be able to take care of the civilians from here on out. They'll be in good hands. Just wish there was something we could do for them, too. No sector clearly has a plan for these captured objects. Soldier, we should take Overwatch back to Watchpoint Gibraltar and send Winston, in the- Winston, I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. But there's a reason I didn't answer your recall. That's not my life anymore. And you don't need me. You need someone like Jack. Jack Morrison is off chasing ghosts. He isn't coming back. <sighs> Vivian, in the old days, no matter how bad a mission got, you always found a way to finish the job and get us home safely. But what we accomplished, that was because of your leadership. Your perspective on everything gave you a better view of the big picture. You know he's right. We could use your vision right now. Vision? Okay, I'll tell you what I see. Overwatch was an international organization. Thousands of people with unlimited resources. And now? Now there's only a handful of you. Overwatch was founded by a handful of people, and they made it work! No, they didn't. We didn't. The world trusted us, and we failed them. Look, I'll help you stop Null Sector. But you have to realize... Overwatch was shut down for a reason. It's time to move on. Him. Uh, I've got this. Wait. Just because you have a hammer doesn't make every problem a nail. But isn't he just a machine? He's not just a machine. This Omnic is alive, just like any of us. They need our help. We need to figure out how to remove these devices safely. Sojourn? My papa might know. He's an expert on this sort of thing. Ah, Torbjorn! Of course! Maybe he'll have some answers. It would be good to see him again! excuse to visit your papa. Spark plug? Papa, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> you always will be to him. Do you think you can help him? <sighs> I don't know. This device is a nasty piece of work. I think I can get it off. But the bigger problem is that I'm not reading anything in this Omnic's memory banks. He's still alive, but... It's like the essence of who he is is gone. Can't you just restore it from a backup or something? <laughs> really, Uncle? Do you keep a backup of your soul just lying around? <laughs> it isn't that easy. <laughs> it was just a suggestion. The world is counting on us. Someone needs to figure this out. Well, hello there, little fellow. Where did you come from? <laughs> ah, it's Null Sector! They found us! Get behind me! Wait! He isn't one of them! It's okay. 
I've been taking care of him. He may be the last of his kind. Look, <laughs> Bastion won't hurt you. What? Bastion? It's not a pet. It's a killing machine. <sighs> no, not anymore. Gah. How many friends did we lose to these things in the old war? And now, now you put your whole family at risk? Reinhardt, that war was a lifetime ago. I've changed. He's changed. The only one who hasn't is you. Uh, Papa! Uh, that sounded like it came from right outside the factory. It's Null Sector. We need to get the defenses online. Hmm. It appears, my friend, we have brought the enemy to you. Responsibilities here. What? We need you! Null Sector is on the attack again! People are answering Winston's recall! Gibraltar is online! We might even have Sojourn back! There's new blood on the team, and we have so much to teach them! Once we do, we should be able to take out Null Sector for good, and then things will be back to the way they were! I'm sorry, Reinhardt. I can't go with you. Brigitte's old enough to make her own decisions. But I can't leave the rest of my family behind. I have to protect them. Protect our home. They're my mission now. I know. I had to ask. You could stay too. Besides, it's their turn now. <laughs> I've been given a second chance. This is what I meant to do. <laughs> well, it looks like you'll have some company. You all right with that? <laughs> He could use the help. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Spark plug's doing great, isn't she? Great, my friend. She's the best. If I learn anything more about the Omnic you brought me, I'll be in touch. And, uh, Reinhardt, please. Make sure that Bastion comes back in one piece. <laughs> He'll be just like new. Hey. You good?
It saddens me to hear of your decision to leave us. I do hope you find what you are looking for outside of our gates. Thank you, Master Mondata. I regret that my path takes me from your teachings, but I am no longer certain that the answers for our people can be found at the monastery. Your concern for our well-being is understandable. I only hope you will remember what you've been taught, and that you continue to strive for harmony with the humanity that surrounds us. I fear the humans are not interested in sharing their world, in coexisting with Omnix. We are a single generation race, dying. Ramatra, know that your human brothers and sisters may not look like you and may not understand you, but they too are on the same journey. For we are all one within the Iris. Our kind were born of the Iris. Perhaps one day we truly will be together again. Brother Zenyatta, have you reconsidered joining me? I still have much to learn here. I had hoped we could continue our journey together. We will meet again, Zenyatta. Good luck, brother. He has a unique perspective. Taking a small step out of the monastery could be the greatest step we need towards peace with the humans. You would leave, Shambhali? What if they do not accept your message? To bring peace between Omnics and humans. That is a risk I am willing to take.